Oak wilt is a disease of oak trees caused by a fungus that grows in the water conducting vessels of the tree and eventually plugs those vessels up and kills even the largest of oaks in the area. Recently we discovered oak wilt in Schenectady County, New York about 200 miles from the nearest previously known site of the disease which was in Erie, Pennsylvania. We're concerned now that as residents and tree care professionals find out about the existence of oak wilt in New York State, we will have a number of samples come to our laboratory for analysis. And the purpose of this video is to help you choose the best samples to send to us. Unfortunately, the only way we can really confirm the presence of the disease is by growing it in culture in the laboratory and identifying the fungus microscopically. To begin with, it's important that you know that red oaks or trees in what we call the red oak group are much more susceptible than trees in the white oak group. The two groups are relatively easily distinguished by the uh, physical nature of their leaves. Red oaks, pin oaks, and black oaks, which are all part of the red oak group, have leaves with pointed tips on each of the lobes. That contrasts with, with trees in the white oak group, which have uh, rounded lobes on the leaves. Now there are a number of other features between red and white oaks that you could use to help distinguish them, but simply looking at the lobes of the leaves can be a, a, an important field identification factor. And we are encouraging people at this stage of the game to direct most of their attention to trees in the red oak group because of the much higher susceptibility. If you suspect that a tree you're caring for might have oak wilt, here are some things to look for. First of all, starting in late May or early June, leaves on an infected tree may start to wilt. At first, just a few branches may show wilt, but within a matter of weeks or a month at most, the wilted, wilting symptom may spread through the entire crown. Close examination of branches with wilted leaves will show that the, the wilt takes the form of a marginal scorch so that the leaves will oftentimes be brown at the edges or tips and then green toward the inner portion. Beyond that, there aren't any real good symptoms in the field except what you might see when you collect twigs or branches for eventual submission to the laboratory. This branch is obviously healthy, uh, but if in fact I thought it might have oak wilt, I would then go ahead and cut uh, smaller pieces to send to the lab. I might point out that, that my experience has been that this is one time where an anvil pruner might actually work better than the typical bypass pruner that horticulturalists usually like to use. We like to get twigs that are about a half inch or a, from a quarter to a half inch in diameter and six to eight inches long. So for instance, a branch like this would be a good one. And uh, normally we'd at, hope that people would send in three or four so that we've got several different pieces to sample from. In my pocket here, I have a couple of twigs from a tree that actually was diagnosed with oak wilt. And if we examine these, we can see another symptom of the disease. And that is that after I've cut the branches out of my, or cut the twigs or portions out of the suspect branch, and then take a sharp knife, I can see that just beneath the bark, there's a rather conspicuous discoloration of the vascular system. It's a brown stain. Um, that is relatively easy to see, especially once you've had some experience looking for it. Another way to see that stain is to remove the bark uh, like this, and you can see the brown streaks in the wood underneath. This is where the fungus has actually caused the xylem vessels to plug up. Might just compare that with this healthy wood 
and you can see the difference if I cut this you see that the bark is nice and green and the wood beneath is nice and white so there's another feature one thing to keep in mind though and one reason why we uh, like to culture the fungus in the laboratory is that if an oak twig is killed for just any reason uh, oak wilt or something else the wood is likely to turn brown and so ultimate confirmation for us comes from culturing from chips of wood in a petri dish I hope this will help you to choose trees that you'll sample from and send to us we are concerned about just how widespread oak wilt is in New York State right now and we're looking forward to your cooperation to help us answer that question. Thanks very much.